Hey YouTube, welcome to another video on knowledge management. Blogs, articles, and online essays can be a great resource for information, and they're often more current than books. Grabbing all those ideas and insights can be a hassle without the proper workflows and proper tools. Imagine taking highlights from an article online and getting those highlights synced directly into your knowledge tool of choice. This is the ultimate reader and highlighter experience. Readwise have been around for a while now and it really is an invaluable tool to capture information from books, articles and even podcasts and then syncing them seamlessly into your tool of choice like Obsidian and LogSeq or Roam. If you've watched my previous videos, you might have noticed that I've been using Readwise for a while now and it's a crucial part of my workflow. Now Readwise have introduced their own reader highlighter app. Readwise Reader just popped out of uh, closed beta and opened the doors to the public. The app is available almost everywhere. Uh, you find the iOS and Android apps as well as a web app and a desktop app. In this video, I'll show you how you can incorporate the Reader app into your capturing workflow and what is so special about this particular app. Let's take a look. <laughs> So to start out, find the Readwise Highlighter Chrome extension, and this will help you clip content into the Reader app itself. Once you have that added, you'll see the icon here in the top right corner, and you can just clip the whole page by pressing on the icon itself. And now the article is added to the Reader app. You can start highlighting in the article itself, like so and these highlights are then synced into your reader app. You can also continue reading the article in the app itself. So now that we've saved the article, we could just jump into the app. We'll see the content added to the reader app. And in this way, you can also see the highlights that you made on the page itself, and you can continue highlighting. On the right side, we see a content panel and here, you can view all your highlights. And like I said in a previous video, uh, what I recommend is when you make highlights, you also add notes. So when you have a highlight like this one, uh, you can also add a note. And in this way, you will remember what prompted you to actually highlight that specific passage. Another great feature of the Reader app is that you can subscribe to the newsletter of that page you have clicked. So in this specific uh, example, I have nestlabs.com. She has a newsletter on the website and you can subscribe without going to the website itself, but actually just subscribing on this right panel here. It will also bring in the latest content. I think it's about five articles. You can also save uh, full PDFs into the Reader app. And the plus side of this is that you can actually highlight and annotate the PDFs right into the Reader. So save the PDF in the same way you would save anything and then just open up the Reader app to continue reading. It takes a while for the PDF to load into the Reader app itself. Once the PDF has loaded, you can start annotating. This will also move the highlights into the notebook. And finally, you can add YouTube videos to your reader experience. And this is one of the standout features of this tool. Save the YouTube video into the reader app in the same way you would with anything else. Open up the video in the reader app itself and magic happens. The Readwise reader app transcribes the video for you and you can follow the text and highlight the notes while you're watching the video itself. Selection by consequences. Dale Carnegie quoted the F. Skinner and said, from the day you were born, everything you did was because you wanted something for doing it. On the right panel, you also see how much time you have left in that article and other useful metadata that can be also edited directly in the tool itself. Now there are other features that improve the quality of life of the reading experience and we have in the left side a customization of the 
light theme versus dark theme. We have the font of the text and also font sizes, line lengths and line spacing. And this is all to make the reading experience as comfortable as possible. Also on the left side, to improve the reader experience, we have a outline of the topics within the article itself. And you can then jump through the content directly using this outline. The reader app has also divided the content in the home page into a few different categories. We have continue reading, so anything that you've read or started in the past week, uh, not, not yet archived. And then recently added content, so we have the YouTube video that just added. You can also shortlist items, so you can just favorite them and then add them into the shortlist. And then we have categorization between long reads and short reads. Uh, this is quite useful if you have a short while just to read some content. And then we also have the feed. So the feed is basically the content that you subscribe to. And this content then is uploaded into Readwise automatically. And in this feed, you can see that I've just subscribed to the Huberman Lab and it brought in five articles from the Huberman Lab in addition to the one that I've already started to highlight. So the content can be also divided into the inbox later and then archived content. In the inbox, we just have any content that's been added through the web clipping. If you want to focus on some other topic and this is interesting content, but not relevant at the moment, you can just add this to move to later. Now, all these actions have uh, key bindings, which is also useful for people that don't like using the mouse. So you can navigate through the interface with just key bindings. When you finished reading an article, you can move the article into the archive. The shortcut for this is E. This will ensure that your inbox will stay clutter free and full of content that not read already. And this is a great feature for a reader app. <music> It's interesting how the reader app keeps on surprising you with new features. Another feature is its own AI system, and they call this the ghost reader. To turn on the ghost reader, I use shift G. So there are four different preconceived prompts, and you can also create your custom prompt. So we're going to ask the ghost reader to just summarize the document. I can see so many useful use cases for this ghost reader feature. Specifically, if you're doing research online and you found multiple articles, but you're not sure of the quality of the articles themselves, you can use the ghost reader to actually create the summaries of these articles and see what is worth investigating more. So here the ghost reader has created a summary of the content. There are some awesome prompts you can ask the ghost reader and one of them is to generate thought provoking questions. Now, there's also generate a question answer pairs based on your highlights. And this could be useful if you're creating flashcards about the content you've, you've just read. I've noticed that it probably need to have quite a bit of highlights to actually get this one to work. I did not manage to get it to work with this amount of highlights. Answer the questions that have been prompted here. And that will also allow you to kind of think overall of what you've just read. The app works seamlessly. If you're switching from the web app to the mobile version, everything works like it should. All the highlights and content are then pushed into your tool of choice. For example, I use Obsidian and the Readwise integration syncs the highlights directly into the Obsidian Vault. The UI and the features of the reader app keep on surprising me as every time I log in, I find something new and useful. If you enjoyed this video, click like. If you want to see more content like this in the future, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.